How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good, man. How about yourself? It is intense, it is intense my friend. My friend. <laughs> yeah. It is. It is, it is it full is on and full flat on out. And flat out. It I've got a. I've got a echo. For echo some for some reason. Do you, you hear that? Do you hear that? Yeah. Hold on a second. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Is that better? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Uh. Uh. Still there. Still there. Okay. Let me put on. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Head 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 head. Head. yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So I'm so going to riff while Ian gets set up here. Uh, we're very blessed to have our uh, composer in residence, uh, our, <laughs> our local uh, genius, yeah, uh, and a heck of a nice guy, uh, share his wisdom and his talents with us once again today. Welcome, Ian Morris. <laughs> Thanks for having me, man. I'm excited. Yes, me too. Me too. Uh, Mercury retrograde, you know, <laughs> yeah. it, it, everything that can go wrong is going wrong. And uh, we're just dancing with it, you know, so uh, yeah. we'll get through it. Yeah. So, so uh, how are you? What's, what's the latest? What's happening? I'm doing good, man. I'm uh, just outside of Pittsburgh for the next few weeks. And we're doing some events with some yoga studios and some of our affiliates here in Pittsburgh. Great. And, um, Great doing yeah um meeting up with carnegie mellon university and going to do some research you know with the music good. with them and so it's it's good keeping busy <laughs> wonderful i'm i'm thrilled to hear that congratulations that's that's wonderful news Thanks. yeah thank you sure uh so you've got a brand new album for us yeah um March uh, Sonic Meditation album is called Rebirth Magic and Other Timeline Anomalies. So, <laughs> okay, okay. So, so, you know, spring and just the rebirth, of course, you know, it's that. But I, I really believe we're in a time where we're reinventing, you know, like when you look at the job market, it's just transitioning and changing so much. People's idea of currency and money is changing ideals of you know what the future looks like is changing and i think everything is kind of in that f state of flux and you know i think in the old you know 10 years ago 20 years ago you would say well let's just get to this point you know and everything's going to be all right you know we'll level out and i don't think that's happening anymore i think that we're just learning how to have that meditation and that presence in the state of now <laughs> and you know, to keep moving forward. And there's just lots of changes happening from finance to, you know, politics to, you know, I mean, just everything, you look at everything, it's in, it's in a state of change. And so for me, I wanted to make an album that was um, alleviating and offsetting some of those heavier energies and um, inspiring people to step into their new self, you know. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that's uh, that's answer prayer for all of us. Uh, you know, it's uh, Uranus has just gone into Taurus for the next seven years. Yeah, uh, and and you really described it very well. Uh, Uranus is is sudden and dramatic change relative to truth, and uh, Taurus is um, our values. You know, uh, what uh, our home, uh, our, our our inner life, uh, these kinds of things. How how our inner and outer uh, re respect and reflect each other. Yeah. You know, so, um, great, great stuff. Uh, yeah. what, 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 uh, it, the ball's in your court, my, my good man. <laughs> okay. Well, <clears throat> the, um, one of the things I've been, you know, really fascinated with for a long time is the Mandela effect and kind of the timeline changes that, you know, a lot of people, whether it's, um, channelers or you know psychic mediums that are talking about the different timeline changes and you know if you're into sci-fi at all and you watch any time travel movies you can see how one little delicate detail can change all these different um you know and it's something those yeah. what ifs and there's something to think about uh that you know you wrap you start wrapping your head around about the choices you've made in your life and about you know future moving forward in the future and I just have always found it really fascinating. And I think that um, the one aspect that's never really touched in those movies is kind of the divine plan, mm. <laughs> you know, yes. of like 
things that happened to you that you may have thought was a failure or something that was, you know, why is this happening to me? And then you look, um, you know, 10, five, 10 years later and you say, wow, that was the biggest blessing of my life for right. that one, ap you know, opportunity to not work out. And <clears throat> I was just talking yesterday in a yoga studio with um, a couple people and I was having this conversation about me being sick and some of the things that um, I went through, they were asking me how I got on this path of sound healing. Yes. And, you know, it's very interesting. A lot of the people I'm working with now and able to give some insight or advice and help in certain situations are things that I have gone through, you know, over the last 10, 15 years. Yeah. And, um, That's know, the way, so isn't it? Isn't that yeah, how it works? Yeah. 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 So it's such a, a blessing to see that and to start looking at things um, kind of in the, the way that Wayne Dyer was telling us, you know, like, I really loved how he said, instead of looking at it as a setback or a failure, look at this as a lesson. What do I need to learn? Exactly. From, you know, you know, from this that has arose in my, you know, uh, awareness. And so, yes. yeah, so basically that's what this album is for me is just kind of um, taking what is, what has been and you know giving gratitude and thankfulness for it and moving forward with more of an open mind to see those lessons and opportunities in the challenging moments i guess and so yes <laughs> yeah I'm, so that's, I'm relating to all of this yeah <laughs> yeah so that's what i wanted rebirth magic to be and it's definitely one of my favorite albums like this is my 40th album as a sonic wow. meditation album that's incredible and, yeah, congratulations congratulations thanks. Yeah, yeah thanks. Yeah. yeah. And so it was just, it's really a special album to me, like every song and the flow of it. But um, I guess the first one that I would like to show is the first track, The Stargate. It's a little more sure. upbeat and a little dancey, but it has a lot of um, progressions and dynamics sure. to it. And um, beautiful. I wanted, you know, wanted it to kind of represent the change that we go through when we wake up and going through the awareness and then kind of the dark night of the soul and then coming into the beauty of the realization of like, wow, I've grown a lot and I'm a different person and I'm seeing the world in a different way and I'm more open now. And mm -hmm. that's what I, you know, I, I was trying, it was challenging, but I was trying to make a song that was representing all of those different sure. aspects. Sure, sure. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, I'm just getting a message here from my guides. Can I make a, a suggestion? Yeah. So yeah. my, my uh, the inspiration here, Ian, is um, that why don't we play the full track and okay. why, don't we, why don't we invite everyone to really go within okay. and, and, and let it work on us, let it open us up and let it let it work its magic on us and see and see what people say what their experience is from from going on the journey together how's how's that sound yeah that'd be awesome you okay. know rather than 30 seconds a minute you know yeah, yeah. uh we'll, we'll give you the full the full monty here today yeah okay uh, right. pleasure okay all right thank you thank you yeah so everyone just go within close your eyes take a nice breath if you would Few more deep breaths.
Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. That's the way to do that. <laughs> yeah, man. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. It's definitely a lot of fun, and that's um, you know, that's one of the things I started doing with my groups was starting with one or two tracks that were upbeat, and that's always been. I always like to share that story with the group because when I first started doing this in Charleston, South Carolina, you know, a lot of the tracks that were upbeat like that, people were like, this isn't meditation music. And I'm like, I know it's not exactly. It's, <laughs> it's using frequency just like sound healing and we're using frequency minded music. But I said, you know, when we're doing these groups, all of us are coming in here with baggage, you know. Um, Amen you to know, that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Whether it's the stress from work or stress at home or just, you know, depression, you know, relationship troubles. And so I said, you know, you guys can think of these songs as like audio sage, you know, it's just smudging the room and kind of getting <laughs> us all cleared yeah. and on the same page so that we yeah. can do our breath work, set the intention and do our deep meditation tracks. And so Brilliant. it's been, yeah. And so now, you know, it's really interesting. All the affiliates are calling and saying, you know, hey, more upbeat tracks, you know, let's mm. do some more upbeat, mm. upbeat tracks. And so, yeah, it's, it's been really fun to watch the progression of people grow with me in that experience, you know. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, was, uh, it was lovely for me. And uh, everyone's, everyone's giving you their love here. Uh, she said, uh, Cassie says, it took me out of my monkey mind. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> France is very beautiful, so relaxing, um, powerful, um, super powerful. Um, who uh, uh, Dana uh, Cato uh, has bought the album. She loves it. She says it's a great album. This mm -hmm. month's album is amazing. Thank you, Ian. Um, yeah, man. Um, yeah, it's um, it's that's right. We we we, we got to get the mind completely <clears throat> engaged before we can start to descend into a place of peace. I'd say, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and saging is a great uh, metaphor. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I lit some incense here a little while ago. Um, yeah, you know, there's there's so much energy in the atmosphere and in our bodies and in our nervous systems, and um, it's easy to get overwhelmed. Uh, so it's it's good to kind of have a catharsis, you know, to to let that energy out, and then you can start to uh, slow things down if you like. Yeah, right. It's it's interesting, you know. Like I remember. Uh, my dad would tell me when I was younger, you know, wait till you get older, time speeds up, you know, it just flies by, you'll just, you won't believe it. And I think when you're younger, it's not that you look at time differently. I think that we know how to have fun and detach from such serious things all the time, you know? Sure, sure. And, and so as we get older, things seem to speed up because I think we're always worried about the next thing coming and we're not in the present moment. We're not enjoying right. what's now. And so right. I have to remind myself that, and that's a lot of times putting on the headphones and, mm. you mm. know, it's it's something that I always tell people that frequency can be a disruptor of that normal broadcast that we're you know giving ourselves that those same stories were on cycle you know, yes. programming yes it just kind of go ahead go ahead I just want to give you a quote because uh, you said that I I literally have to remind myself all the time that being worried about things not going wrong is not the way for them to go right yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah. yeah. And there, there's another quote, something to the lines of the things you're worrying about, you're manifesting what you don't want, you know, something along those lines. I can't yes. remember the word for word, but yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, you, you and I know brother, uh, uh, that it's all about focus and intention. I'm, I'm, uh, studying, uh, uh Neville Goddard and uh, mm -hmm. the power of the subconscious mind and working with, uh, um, uh, you mentioned Wayne Dyer. I've been working with, uh, his quotes from U.S. Anderson and his Ah Meditations recently, uh, Meditation for Manifestation. So, you know, as you, as you know, uh, sound is such a powerful, transformative uh, process. Do you, are, do you know Wayne's uh, The Ah Meditation? Have you ever heard of that? I don't uh, think I have. Right. It's, I'll, I'll send you the link. I've got it on my page, Ian. It's, it's, okay. So all, all the names of the creator... Yahweh, Yeshua, Yehovah, uh, Amun-Ra, uh, Buddha, Krishna, they all have mm -hmm. the ah sound in them. And the ah sound is, is the heart chakra. And what yeah. Wayne ha has you do is bring the energy up from the root and out the crown, doing ah. Mm -hmm. 
and you do that for 20 minutes in the morning and then you do om at night and then you finish up your om at night with shalom so oh, okay. you know it's uh mm -hmm. it's a it's it's got me out of a lot of tight spots let me tell you yeah yeah, yeah. it's a good one yeah that's cool yeah definitely i'd love to see that link and check it out i'll, I'll, um, I'll pass it along you brought up Neville Goddard. Um, I really love. I don't, I love his voice. You know, you're yes. talking about um, what was that time period like? Nineteen sixties. Yeah, was it uh, or seventies? Yes. Okay. Um, Earlier, the fifties. Do you mean? Yeah, I was. Some of the things that I've listened to from him, I thought were were older than that. But I, he, I mean, I'm not. He goes back. Yeah, I'm not really yeah. sure. I, you know, it could be the forties. You yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it was, it was definitely an older recording, and I just loved his voice, and I was like, man, this is just, you know, so inspiring, like, his energy, the energy of his voice, and just the tone, and flow, and cadence yeah. that he had in a lot of his recordings, I just found to be really um, inspiring, you know, where uh, it was just, Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry, go on, go on. No, 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 I just, um, <laughs> I have a... I have another music project where I'm actually sampling some of his stuff and putting it to music. Fantastic. So, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty fun. So well, I can't that. wait to hear, I, uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll look forward, we'll have to pre premiere that one. I'm looking forward yeah. to hearing that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, well, of course, uh, it's like, um, you know, being the channel, being the artist, being the instrument, you know, of these energies, which you and I both get to be, uh, you know, and we're practicing every day and listening deeply every day to what is the truest energy, the clearest message, where am I in my inspiration and where am I out of it? Uh, you know, Goddard is definitely one who, excuse me, absolutely arrived at a place of knowing, you know? Yeah. And uh, so that comes through his message uh, loud and clear. I mean, this is not a theory, folks. This, this works, you know? Yeah. So that's, I think, uh, as we're saying, Ian, uh, in the midst of all these changes, we're really looking for, uh, you know, resources and uh, things that we can work with that we absolutely feel connected to. So, yeah. And like, uh, Florence Scovel Shin, uh, yes. you know, amazing. I feel like, you know, uh, Neville Goddard and her were kind of like on that same sure. vibratory, you know, wave and, um, but Joel, yeah, like Joel Goldsmith, uh, Joseph Murphy, Catherine Ponder, I don't know, Catherine. Oh, Palmer. well, I'll see okay. you and I can do the, we, <laughs> okay. can do the, we can do the, Chris, the Christian metaphysics uh, manifestation uh, yeah. study group here. Yeah. 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 There's, it's so, it's so um, real. I actually had a conversation not too long ago um, with a person that called to be an affiliate and they yes. were talking to me about what my religious views were, you know, and a okay. lot of, I think a lot of businesses get scared to share that information, you know? But mm -hmm. I'm just, I feel really at peace with it because I think that I've um, come to terms with where I came from and where I'm going. And I just told her, I said, you know, I was raised Christian. And I said, there's a lot of things in Christianity that, you know, has amazing things to offer people. And I said, but there's other religions too. That, and I said, I think that every religion has some kind of golden thread that everyone can benefit from, you know? That's right. And, That's right. And yeah. And so I was telling her, I said, I just became more open. I said, I guess I would consider myself a Christian because that's how I was born. I was born into it and raised into that. And, you know, there's a lot of beliefs that I take from that. But I also, as I matured and started thinking a little more for myself and outside of the box, I started thinking a little deeper and a little more metaphysically and you know, sure. kind of, you know, bringing in other things. But I said, you know, it's I really believe that spirituality is such a personal journey. Of and that when we pray and we have that connection with creator, whoever we view that to be, that's the most divine connection that you have. There's no middleman. There's no text. It's just you and spirit. Mm -hmm. And I said, I just really believe that that for me is the ultimate is that going into prayer and meditation and consulting, you mm -hmm. know, um, with the higher power. And I said, that's really the end all be all and i said but yes i do enjoy sharing you know conversations and viewpoints and perspectives with other people who have gone deeper than me and other people who may have not gone deeper and i said sure. i think that that keeps you kind of uh balanced in your faith as well yes. and i said 
you know, ultimately my music is created from a place of faith that I know that this music and frequency helped to save my life and that it healed me in right. so many ways and right. that I'm still healing now, you know, it's yeah. not that I'm healed and that's just sure. done. And it's right. a, you know, and I remember I was telling her that Deepak Chopra said that Same consciousness here. was a journey, that it's not a destination. And I love yeah. that quote, you know, that yeah. it's an ongoing process <laughs> you yeah. know, for everyone. Yeah. And so that, you know, uh, and so it's just really interesting to be able to share music that touches people on that level where they will conversate with you about religion and faith and their yes. healing journey sure. and things like that. And so that's what I hope that this music will inspire is people to step outside of their boxes and explore. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you know? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, no, that's brilliant. Um, Paul Selig, who's a wonderful channel, and I'm listening to his Book of Freedom right now, and uh, he's uh, saying basically he's been channeling Metatron, uh, who's one of the, you know, ascended masters, and mm -hmm. um, it's great material. And uh, in there, they say, the real title of this material is Christ Consciousness. But to come back to your point, my friend, they say we don't use that term because it's too, <laughs> it's too loaded, you know, yeah. it's yeah. too loaded for people. They think it's mm -hmm. something and it's something else. And uh, just uh, the last thought here, they say um, uh, Christ, Christ Consciousness or, is not a religion. It's a state right. of awareness, you know, as yeah. you're saying. Mm -hmm. So it's good, man. You're you're deep behind enemy lines there with uh, our <laughs> fundamentalist brothers. You know, I'm just yeah. here with all my Irish Catholic friends who, <laughs> you know, are are also starting to pop out and, and think out of the box more and more. Um, what, what what would you like to play for us next? Um, let's do a meditation one. Let me see what we got here. Um... Cassie says a golden thread is there to follow and experience. Also, we learn from each other regarding our beliefs. Well said, Cassie. Yeah. Good morning, Ian. That would be fun to paint to, says Monian. Monian oh. Harris. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Maria's, Maria's here. Yeah, that's a good one. Maria's here from Canada. Hi, Maria. Yeah, good. Nice group here. Michelle is here from, from Ireland. Yeah, great. Lisette? So uh, let's play the, the t title of this one is called A Time of Destruction and Rebirth. Oh, yes. And I listened to that. Yeah. You like that? That was good. Oh, well, I cool. thought this, this is right on time. Yeah. <laughs> cool. This is well channeled. <laughs> this is brought through clearly. Yeah. You want to just play a few minutes of this? Well, it's six minutes or what is it? Um, let me see what the time on this is. Well, I'll leave it to you. I, I, you know, okay. I'm, ha I'm happy for whatever you like. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Go here with this. So this is Uranus, the frequency of Uranus. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Which, which is lighting us up. Right. Yes. So look. <laughs> so we, we got to clean up our act. If there's anything uh, still uh, still in the darkness, we got to let it go. Very good. So we'll all turn within. Take a take a deep breath.
<laughs> well, you had a little help on that track. Yeah. <laughs> I was going, is there a dog on this track? <laughs> okay, that's that's Uranus waving at all of us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. So, um, yeah, a lot of these albums I'm using uh, planetary frequencies to either offset some of the heavy energies or to accentuate. Right. And definitely... Um, you know, we've got the, the new moon and just right. everything that's, you know, coming in right now. Yeah. So it's definitely some really heavy, in, heavy energy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm hoping that um, people can put on the headphones and check out some of these meditation tracks and just kind of tune out and kind of tune in, you know. Yes, yes. Well, I, I raise my hand, my friend. I, I've been, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, this is divine timing here that this is happening today. Um, as you said, it's um, new moon in Pisces, and it's uh, like the the last degree of Pisces or something. And uh, the Chiron is uh, it's uh, Chiron is in um, Aries, and it's just switched out of Pisces. So there's a lot of um, things coming up from the unconscious uh, to be healed, to be faced, to be forgiven, to be released to be, um, uh, you know, uh, blessed and let go of, all of that kind of thing. Um, it's deep, deep, uh, deep inner wounds, the wounded inner child, all that good fun, you know, past lives, whatever. And it, it, it is happening as a gift, as you said earlier, that, that's absolutely, excuse me, my, my perception to all these things. Um, the, the quote from The Course in Miracles uh, says, I've, I've sent you nothing, sorry, uh, from Conversations with God, I've sent you nothing but angels. So, you know, everything and everyone is a teacher, an opportunity to grow, to heal, to learn, as you're saying. Um, and yes, thank God for uh, yourself and these wonderful um, energies that can help us to breathe through this intense time, you know? Yeah, thanks. Sure, <laughs> truly, fun. truly. Good. Yeah. Fun is good. Fun is important. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, def it definitely is. In the conversation I was referring to uh, earlier where I was talking to some people at a yoga studio yesterday, I was talking about that process of how, you know, I've been learning with each album that I've made and I've been taking, you know, feedback from doctors and psychologists, um, hypnotherapists, you know, and then down to the affiliates, like, and sharing it with their groups around the world and them saying, you know, giving feedback about, you know, what the clients have been responding to. And so it's been kind of a learning process for all of us. Like I might know more about frequency, but it's also so humbling and, and to be open to listening to the feedback from all of these different, you know, people and different walks of life. Um, and so to learn and to grow the program in that way with such diversity has mm. been, you know, enlightening and, and a learning experience and mm -hmm. all of that. And to, like, you know, get to this where I, like, when I put that album, I was like, man, this is number 40, you know, like, and, and just in three and a half years here wow. of time. And, um, beautiful, you know, so it's been, it's been a lot of fun. It's definitely a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's, um, such a, uh, such an intense work, uh, schedule you know, um, and uh, you, uh, you, you do it, obviously, and you love it, obviously, and uh, you're, uh, you're sharing it with all of us, uh, you know, uh, so, uh, so elegantly, you know, in the way that you've set it up uh, to share it with people. Do you want to say a little, uh, give us a little uh, commercial here about the affiliates and mm -hmm. buying, buying some music and supporting uh, the good work here? Yeah, well, first, Let's talk about Lou Martin 19 being the code if they want to purchase this album and they get 40% off. <laughs> and, you know, Lou benefits from that um, as an affiliate. And so um, the affiliate program gives people the way to use this music licensed, you know, um, uh, where they can use it in their practice with one on one sessions or hosting group events like sound baths, sound immersions. They can use it for guided meditation imagery. 
Um, they can even license tracks as an affiliate to put out their own meditation albums. And then uh, they have a way to monetize it where they have an affiliate code and then people who purchase, you know, um, each affiliate makes 30% of every sale on top of that. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just a way that I found where sound, like you don't have to be a sound healer and you don't have to be a musician, but you can facilitate these sound events, you know, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or a small group and to really learn in the process you know each affiliate gets a download each month of the album they'll get the frequency information astrology information and it's mm. something that they can pull from in their own work and it just kind of um makes it a little more seamless it's just right there in their email and they can use it for the rest of the month and um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah one second hello no we're good sorry I thought I heard, okay. I thought I heard a, a rap at the door there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Brilliant. Brilliant. So do support Ian. And as you do, then you're giving some support to me and, and you're helping uh, franchise the frequency as the Pleiadians like to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get, spread the energy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> do you want me to share another, another Please. Bit? Yes, okay. my friend. Yeah. Okay, cool. Please. So, um, my, I'm, one of, I'm like ready to burst into flame over here today. There's just so <laughs> much energy going on. And it's been like this since Sunday. I'm like <laughs> grounding, grounding, grounding. Yes, lay another one on us. Thank you. Okay. So this is a grounding. This is root chakra frequency it's from the Solfagio. Perfect. Um, and this one was really, I was kind of nervous about, this is the last track on the album. Okay. And I was I was kind of nervous about putting this out there, but um, I've really in, uh, got some really great feedback on it. And so I wanted this track to be grounding, but I wanted to simulate taking people up as like an ascension and then dropping them down and grounding in deep, you know, where mm -hmm. it just kind of uh, takes it to a soothing, reaches a plateau and then drops you to a valley um, in a gentle way, you know, nothing Good. crazy. Yeah. But, uh, I was, you know, so I really, this is one of my favorite tracks off the album. Um, we and... trust you, Ian. We trust okay. you. Okay. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay. So this is called Quantum Tunneling. Okay. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. Thank you.
beautiful. Thanks. Yeah, Thank it's you. one of definitely one of my favorites off the album. It's got mm. a lot of dynamics and you know peaks and valleys and just real grounding and chill. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dana's your partner, of course, my friend, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it it comes back to me now. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. So she's she's giving us the link there for the affiliates program. Thanks, Dana. And uh, much love to you and your dog. Yeah. <laughs> she got she has two. She, your dogs. There we go. Much yeah, love. Two, that's it. Two, Here's here. two beagles. Two beagles. Well, they yeah. one of them. One <laughs> of them was doing a fine job uh, adding to the, <laughs> yeah. to the music there. Let me give you one more quote here. This is uh, Monian Harris. Monian, you're very eloquent, my friend. She's got a great quote here. She says, whatever is true, whatever is noble whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable. If anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, Monine's an amazing painter. Oh. I'll have to get her to share some paintings with you. Well, maybe we'll do a chat uh, with Monine at some point yeah. here as well. Yeah, Monine's awesome. Good. Well, Monine, yeah. you're invited. Yeah, to, <laughs> to take, take, it, take it to heart. Brother, this has been wonderful as always. Anything, any last thoughts? Any, anything else you want to share with us? Um, I just think we're in these next two to three months. We're in for some big changes on the world stage. I think it's coming. And, um, you know, it's just really, I think all that energy that we're feeling is amping up, you know. And so I think it's just keeping in mind to hold our highest intentions for ourselves and for the planet. And just yes. Keep rocking and rolling. <laughs> well said. Well said. <laughs> yeah. Let the wave carry you. Don't swim into the wave. That's my uh, <laughs> that's my suggestion. Yeah, because it's yeah. a, as you said, it's a big, powerful wave, and we've been getting ready for this for a long time, and it is it is here in a whole new way. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, man. Um, so remember, Lou Martin, nineteen. Purchase the albums. Any of the albums, they'll receive forty percent off using your code. Which is a quite a discount, yeah. a generous discount. Yeah, yeah. A heck of a, mm -hmm. heck of a bargain. Brilliant. All right. All my love, Ian. You're doing great. I'm so glad you're in my movie. Uh, we'll talk again soon, okay? Okay, man. Have a great day. Thanks again. Thanks. You too. Best to Mona and the dogs, yeah? Or Dana. Sorry. Dana. Dana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got, okay. I got, all right. Peace and blessings. Namaste. Okay. Thank you.